Most data analyst roadmaps you find online are straight up trash. And I'm not saying that to be dramatic. I'm saying it because I've seen way too many people waste months chasing the wrong skills, doing endless courses, certificates, and spending thousands on boot camps and degrees and still ending up without a job. You probably don't want to hear this, but certifications, the other degree, that's not what's keeping you from getting hired. What is? The fact that you're following advice from people who've never actually helped anyone land a job, especially career changers. I've learned this the hard way. Back when I was following the same typical advice and roadmaps, you'd find online, I was buried in tutorials, racking up certifications, racking up badges, applying non-stop, and zero results. It wasn't until I threw out everything I was told and rebuilt my strategy from scratch that things finally clicked. And within weeks, I went from delivering pizzas for $8 an hour to interviews, and then ultimately six-figure offers down the road. No extra degree, no boot camp, just the right roadmap. So trust me, once you see what actually works, you'll never look at these generic roadmaps you find online the same way again. And before someone else copies this and lands the job that you want, you'll want to watch this video all the way through to the end. If this is your first time here, my name is Kadisha. I used to deliver pizzas, and now I deliver in as a self-taught data scientist and I've coached thousands of other career changers how to break into data without going back to school and I'm here to teach you how to do the same. If you're tired of feeling stuck, tired of not feeling confident in your skills and want to pivot into a six-figure data career faster, click the first link in the description so we can start working together ASAP. Now let's get into it. First, let's talk about why 99% of data analyst roadmaps you find online don't work. First, most of them were written by people who've never actually helped anyone get hired. They're either career bloggers, course creators chasing SEO keywords, or even worse, college professors who haven't really applied to a job in over 15 years. Second, they focus on the wrong skills. Way too much emphasis on Python way too early. And look, while I love Python, it's the last thing you should ever worry about when you're trying to land your first role in data analytics. You don't need to be a coder to become a data analyst. You need to be a business translator, someone who can pull data, analyze it, and tell a clear story to decision makers. And none of that requires Python on day one. But these roadmaps, they make you believe that you need to master everything, statistics, machine learning, data structures, before you even apply. So you end up overwhelmed, confused, and unhirable. Which is exactly why so many smart, hardworking folks are still stuck watching YouTube tutorials instead of getting interviews. And it's not your fault. You've just been following a roadmap that was never designed to get you hired in the first place. But I'm going to fix that today. Let me show you the roadmap that actually works, because once you stop chasing hype and start focusing on what employers actually care about, everything gets easier. First, we'll start with Excel. Yeah, I know, people love to hate on Excel because they think it's outdated, but if you think Excel won't get you hired, you're already losing. Every analyst I know uses Excel in some capacity. Why? Because it's fast, flexible, and everywhere. You need to be comfortable with pivot tables, VLOOKUPs, XLOOKUPs, conditional formatting, all of that. But more importantly, you need to know how to actually analyze data in Excel. That means understanding descriptive statistics, mean, median, mode, outliers, distribution shapes, and cleaning messy data, that's also your bread and butter. Excel is your launch pad, but let me be real, it doesn't scale. You're going to hit a wall eventually, especially once your data gets bigger and we need to automate tasks. So we use Excel to build the foundations and then we level up. Next is data storytelling. Let me say this out loud. Most analysts know how to build charts. Very few know how to tell a story. Dashboards and decks don't speak for themselves. You have to make the insight obvious. You have to lead your audience, highlight the why and not just the what. Learning how to use color to guide attention, clean up clutter, and always answer the question, what decision does this data drive? Storytelling isn't a nice to have. It's the skill that gets you remembered in interviews and trusted in the workplace. And here's the kicker. It's also tested in interviews. You'll be asked to present your findings to stakeholders. And if your delivery is dry, cluttered, or vague, you're not going to get the job, no matter how skillful you are. Now let's talk about SQL. 
because this is where most people get exposed. SQL is your first technical screen, not Excel, not Python, SQL. You'll be tested on it guaranteed. If you can't write joins, window functions, subqueries, aggregations with confidence, you're not going to get the job, period. SQL is how real analysts pull real data from real systems and it's used every day on the job. So if you've been avoiding it or hoping a BI tool will cover up your gaps, just stop. SQL is non-negotiable. And once you've got that handle, now we move on to dashboards, Power BI or Tableau. Pick one, it doesn't matter which, there's plenty of jobs for both. What matters is that you get really good at that one tool. This is where most people build dashboards that look like a rainbow threw up. Charts everywhere, no hierarchy, no narrative, just noise. If your dashboard doesn't answer a business question in five seconds or less, you're doing it completely wrong. Need to design for clarity, for insight, and for impact. Now, speaking of impact, let's move on to PowerPoint. You'd be surprised how many job candidates lose the job here. Because here's what most people don't know. A lot of technical screens include take-home assignments, which they'll ask you to present your analysis using a slide deck presentation. If your slides are ugly, cluttered, or lack a clear point, you won't even get invited to present them. PowerPoint isn't about decoration, it's about persuasion. You need one insight per slide, clear action titles, supporting visuals, no filler. I've had students land six-figure roles purely because their decks were better than everyone else's. That's just the power of great presentation skills. Now, last but not least, let's move on to Python. Now, let me be clear. Python is not necessarily required to land your first data analyst job. It's not necessarily in every job description, but yet every bad roadmap puts it right at the top, wasting your time and destroying your confidence. But here's the truth. Python should only be learned after you've mastered Excel, SQL, Power BI, Tableau, and PowerPoint. And when you learn it, make sure you learn it the right way. Forget machine learning and the data science stuff starting out. Focus on automating data pipelines, cleaning data sets, and automating repetitive Excel tasks. In other words, use Python to make your work faster and more scalable, not more complicated. It's a bonus skill, not a baseline. And if you skip it completely, you can still get hired for your first job. Just ask my students who did exactly that. So now you know why most roadmaps keep you stuck and exactly what to focus on now instead. This isn't about learning everything all at once. It's about learning what matters. Excel gets you started, SQL gets you hired, Power BI or Tableau gets you noticed, and PowerPoint gets you through the interview. And Python, optional, and learn it last, even if you still need it. This is the exact strategy that I use from making $8 an hour delivering pizzas to now making over six figures in data analytics. And it's the same roadmap I've used to help thousands of other career changers break into data without getting another degree or bootcamp. If you found this helpful and you're serious about getting hired fast, check out the link in the description and let's start working together and see if we can get you hired fast because you don't need to get lucky to land your first analyst role you just need the right roadmap and the discipline to follow it if i can do it and my students can do it you can too and let's make it happen